So courtesy of John Prosser, we have our first look at the M2 MacBook Air. Now this has been met with some controversy, especially regarding the white bezels and the white keyboards. But weirdly enough, I actually don't really have an issue with those. I think that makes sense. The issue I have is regarding the keyboards and the smaller trackpads, as well as some other minor changes. So without further ado, let's just delve in. Right, so before we delve into the renders, one thing I want to mention is John did say that he was not told this would be the new MacBook Air. In fact, he was only told it would be a new MacBook in the near future, and he guesses it could be the new MacBook Air because of the design aesthetics, and of course, the fact it only has two ports, much like today's model. But guys, I have a theory that maybe Apple's thinking of dropping the Air name as a whole. Maybe this will just be the MacBook, much like we have with the iMac 24 inch, because if you think about it, the lack of a tapered design is really, really odd for an Air. Because ever since the conception of the MacBook Air, Apple's had the tapered design. It's a very iconic design element. And the fact it's missing here is pretty odd if this is the next MacBook Air. And so because it's flat, much like the MacBook Pros, I think it could just be the MacBook and Apple gets rid of the Air name as a whole, which actually isn't the worst idea in my opinion, because today's Air actually isn't really that thin or light. It's very similar to the MacBook Pros and the 12 inch MacBook is actually lighter, thinner, more compact. It's actually the true MacBook Air in every way. And the Air brand has sort of lost its meaning. So I would not be against this MacBook Air just being the MacBook as the default option for the average consumer. Anyways, let's move on to the renders themselves. And obviously the elephant in the room has to be the white keyboards and the white bezels that everyone clearly hates. Now guys, I used to be a white bezel hater like some of you out there, but I have seen the light. And I think this is actually a good idea on the MacBook Air because of a few reasons. Number one, the Air was in desperate need of some differentiation because today's MacBook Air is way too similar to the MacBook Pro. And honestly, I think Apple needs to go back to this ideology where they have a clear distinction between the consumer Max and the prosumer Max. Because here's the thing a lot of you guys are forgetting about. We are not the target demographic for this MacBook Air. This is built for the average Joe, uh, students, kids, families. And simply put, they're gonna love this new look and they're gonna love the white bezels and the white keyboards and the fun colors. They're gonna like everything about it. But do note, this design language only applies to the consumer max. So if you want black bezels, a space gray finish, that's all gonna be there with the MacBook Pro. And well, that's clearly built for most of you guys out there. As for the other design elements shown in these renders, that's where I have a few things to pick on because number one, the feet on this new MacBook Air looks very weird. Though to be fair, you are not looking at the feet when using the computer, so it's not the biggest issue in the world. What's a bigger issue for me is the fact that Apple's using the full-size iMac keyboard in the MacBook Air for some weird reason. And because of this, Apple's sacrificing the size of the trackpad. Now this is where I would disagree with these renders because if you notice with every major redesign to the Mac, Apple clearly mentions the trackpad is much larger and they make a pretty massive deal out of this. So why would they go ahead and make the trackpad smaller? Now, yes, I know some of you might say the trackpads we have right now are ginormous and so Apple can afford to reduce them, but I would disagree with that because obviously the Mac does not have touch and you only have the trackpad as your way of interacting with the device. And so I do sort of feel like the best part of the trackpads is the size. I love how expansive it is. And obviously when I edit, I appreciate having a larger trackpads. And so yes, this is gonna be quite a major downgrade in my opinion. And what's also annoying is the fact the function row is now full sized, much like we see on the iMac. Now, yes, I know this might make it easier to use, but of course this means the keyboard itself takes up a lot more room on the lower half of the Mac. And while that could make this slightly less comfortable to use and type on, especially since the armrest might be a tad smaller. On the whole, I'm just not a huge fan of this new layout. I do not like the fact Apple's sacrificing the size of the trackpad for a slightly larger keyboard that no one really asked for because no one really complained about the function row we have today. And it's way nicer in my opinion, having a larger trackpad and a larger armrest. 
So yeah, I'm actually hoping this part of this render ends up being wrong. Now the final things I want to touch on is the ports. So we do still have two Thunderbolt ports, but now they're on each side of the Mac which I actually prefer, I think that's way more versatile. Though do note, there is no MagSafe to be seen. Now, John does say there is a chance we could see MagSafe on the final version, and obviously Mark Gurman has mentioned this will be the case. So yeah, I do think we're seeing MagSafe on the left side of the MacBook Air. As for the colors, apparently they are based on the iMac stands, so they are way more pastel-like, which I think is a better move on a mobile device because really bright colors could be a little in your face, with a MacBook, so yeah, I do prefer these more subtle tones instead. But anyways, let me know in the comments below, what do you think of this next generation MacBook Air? Anyways, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the icon above about the iPad mini Pro. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.